Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Renoi from OC Imaging, and if you remember in a previous video, I talked about getting a B cam. I'll be getting a little beast of a camera in a few weeks. That's pretty awesome when it comes to video. This is actually my second attempt to make this video. Hey guys, this is, and I'd say it's. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about again the Yi M1 camera. So I've had this camera for a little while now and for videos I would definitely say it's pretty good. I'm not saying it's over the top awesome, I'm simply saying that you know for what I use it to do it's pretty good and I use it as an overhead camera. So for the price of this camera, I would say for somebody like me definitely go ahead give it a shot, learn from it, especially if you're a beginner you can definitely learn from this. It's not ideal because it doesn't have a viewfinder but you can certainly learn a lot from this. So the Yi M1 camera, just like my Lumix G85, is a micro four thirds camera, which means the kit lens, which is a pretty awesome kit lens with image stabilization, can be used on this Yi camera. Also, that means that my Nikon lenses and my Canon lenses that I have can work on this particular camera as well because I purchased some adapters, one being the Nikon lens to micro four thirds camera and the other being the Canon EF lens to micro four thirds ca uh, camera, I can actually use those lenses on this camera just the same. And I'm really looking forward to doing even more tests or experiments with this camera. Also, if, no, 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 the, in a Jamaica man talk, I have no L series lens, I feel like you know, uh, lend me, let me just do a little experiment to see how good the photos can be with this and an L series lens. Hit me up on Instagram at OC Imaging and um, I'm gonna give it a try now, so I can go and feed, alright? <laughs> alright, so let's get to the rest of the video, guys. This is a review of the Yi M1 camera or my version of a review of the Yi M1 camera. Let's get into it. So continuing my little review of the Yi M1 camera, when I went on the behind the scenes video the other day with Dane, I took out the camera, the Yi camera, and I attached a Canon 50mm f1.8 lens to it, and I decided to try out some photos. I watched a video recently where the Panda photographer said that uh, photos are always being overexposed, and a lot of the photos that I actually took were overexposed. However, there were a few of them that were actually, you know, pretty good or okay, depending on how you look at it. So I'm gonna go through a few of those photos now. So this is the first one here. Then as you can see, it's out of focus. However, moving onwards, you can see that it's at f1.8. You can see that um, the model is actually pretty, uh, well, not, really in focus but it's better than the previous photo moving on pretty similar this one here it looks like she's a lot more in focus than previous ones and it's not super sharp but it's definitely better than the previous photos once again another photo that's pretty sharp you can i can zoom in and you can see that you know it's fairly sharp it's not super sharp and um, you can see a lot of chromatic aberration but Aside from that, it's, you know, it's, it's not a horrible photo. Like I said, for a camera that hasn't been updated in quite a while and um, a camera that a lot of people has basically given up on, if you're a beginner, I think that this would actually be okay for you. It would be a heck of a learning curve, but as you can see, some of these photos are actually pretty. Um, they actually look pretty good. These are straight out of the camera. They're not edited at all This one is actually one of the sharpest ones here using the Yi camera as a photo camera It can be done It's not the greatest for photos, but it can be done All right now doing the vlogging test on uh, on the 4k setting I'm not sure if it's gonna crop in but 
this is how it looks in 4k the autofocus might be a bit off in 4k but i will not be vlogging um in 4k on this camera so this is what it's like stabilization is on i'm using the lens the Yi, the xiaoyi 12 to 40 millimeter lens that came with the Yi camera so let's see what this looks like One of the amazing features of this camera though is its time-lapse ability. When I went on this shoot with Dane, I put the camera down, I set it on time-lapse mode and I hit record. I forgot about the camera. It just kept on recording non-stop. And the footage as you can see is actually pretty good. So this is definitely a positive for the Yi camera. This was my review of the Yi M1 camera. Thank you so much for making it to the end of my video. Also remember to like, share, and subscribe. And you know my mantra, live, love, and laugh. Thanks for watching. We are, we are dreaming.